So we have a 37-year-old man who has been hospitalized because of acute onset of intense periumbilical abdominal. Well, he is a known case of intravenous heroin abuse and he was diagnosed with acute bacterial endocarditis. His blood culture grew, staph aureus and echocardiogram showed vegetation of the mitral leaflet. He is being treated with intravenous vancomycin. He has fever and after that he has a 3 by 6 holosystolic murmur is over the apex. Abdominal palpation, mild, mild diffuse tenderness. Okay, no rigidity, no rebound, bubble sound are decreased. But point to note it, he has only mild diffuse tenderness, although he presented with severe acute onset, intense pain is there. The intensity is pain is very, very high. But when we are palpating, tenderness is very minimal. This is the two point that you got to understand, remember right now. Well, most likely diagnosis of this case is the answer is mesentric ischemia. Patient most likely has acute mesentric ischemia, but call AMI due to embolism from the cardiac wall vegetation. Remember, he has already been diagnosed with acute bacterial endo endocarditis and vegetation are seen on the mitral leaflet is one of the diagnostic criteria of endocarditis. Okay. After that, so this acute mesentic ischemia lead to abrupt arterial occlusion from either of the following. In general, I'm talking about basic concept. Basic concept about AMI. So cardiac embolic event in the setting of atrial fibrillation, valvular disease, like in this case, the patient has endocarditis, which has a vegetation, which led to embolic phenomena. Cardiovascular aneurysm, it can if due to acute thrombosis due to peripheral arterial disease or low cardiac output state. But definitely in our case, the key word to remember is, and remember, abrupt onset due to, onset occurs due to any of the embolic phenomena. So before I discuss more about the management and let me tell you a little bit anatomy. So we know very well that we have an aorta from which superior mesentric artery and inferior mesentric artery, they come. Now you can see here we are getting a blockage in the artery. Artery block and that is the ischemic area is there. The clear cut, this is all blue or you can say cyanose and this the red area is there. Okay. Well, why I showed you this picture? At time, of course, if the ischemia is not relieved, it, this area may get infarcted. This area, what has been shown here, infarction occurred. That means that intestine become dead in this area. Well, surgeon opens. Laparotomy is done. Now, it is very difficult for a surgeon to know which area is viable or not. So what is done in actual operation theater is they put a warm towel uh, over the or a warm mop over the ischemic area. So in the ischemic area, of course, some area is totally normal, some area is ischemic and some is dead. So let us say this is the part of intestine and this is the normal area and this is ischemia plus some necrosed, I for ischemia and for necrosis is there. Now what to do? Surgeon will put a warm towel and once they put the warm towel and this, which is, but suppose this area is ischemic, it will again become red. But the part which is necrosis and this will remain blue, which will not turn to red. At, so now surgeon knows that I have to make a incision at this particular point, this area is ischemic, but it is viable. So now that's very essential to know the anatomy and we can correlate nicely with the, nicely with the, well, this is the typical area. This is what I was talking to you. This is total look to be now, we cannot differentiate whether it's necros or, or ischemia. The surgeon will put a warm mop or cloth to know about the ischemia or the death. I hope things are clear to you. Well, in acute, 
सो सो एक्यूट का मेजेंटिक स्कीमा टिपिकली प्रेजेंट विथ सडन ऑनसेट पुअरली लोकलाइज विजुअल पेन इट इज यूजली मिड अबडोम इट इज अराउंड द पेरी अम्बलाइकल एरिया एज वट वी सॉ इन आवर पेशेंट अकमड बाई नॉज ऑफ वॉमटिंग लाइक इन आवर केस दिस एक्यूट ऑनसेट ऑफ इंटेंस पेरी अम्बलाइकल एबडोम पेन एसोसिएट विद नॉज एंड वॉमटिंग दिस वॉट वी गॉट इन द क्वेश्चन एंड अर्ली स्टेज स्कीम या फिजिकल एग्जामिशन टिपिकली अनरिमार्केबल जे लाइक इन दिस केस माइल्ड डिफ्यूज टेंडरनेस लाइक इन आवर केस ऑल्सो दिस इज ए ओनली माइल्ड डिफ्यूज टेंडरनेस नो रिजिटी और एबडामन इन नट शेल टू समराइज सिम्टम्स आर मच मोर देन दिस साइंस दैट इज गोल्डन लाइन टू रिमेंबर golden line to remember symptom much more than the ka uh, sign is this indicate acute mesenteric infarction classical question and the pain attack is periambulical so this is a key word to remember this particular slide well so in this case the patient has uh pain out of proportion to the examination finding the same what i told in the previous slide patient appears in significant distress and is restless but examination finding is minimal now the patient infarction develop next stage focal abdominal tenderness due to localized inflammation infarction then tenderness may increase peritoneal signs guarding rebound tenderness is there point to be noted this develop when that when the patient has signs of peritoneal scars it got peritoneal inflammation is there but in our case these signs are not there that means infarction has not yet occur rectal bleeding and sepsis they are occurring in the advanced stage but again a very very important point that you got to remember these are sign they are seen in when the infarction occur not in the ischemic stage frequently lab will show increased tlc hemo concentration can lead to increase hemoglobin level amylase level may be high remember is not pancreatitis but amylase can be raised in non pancreatic condition also metabolic acidosis due to increased lactate is there that can cause metabolic acidosis so now in if you see x ray you can see a thumb print sign in the in the abdominal uh, wall just see beautiful picture thumb printing of the bowel wall is the classical thing that we can see in these patients well let's look at other option a calculus cholecystitis this occur in critical ill patient but our patient is acute onset associated with nausea vomiting but this is critically long patient have been already hospitalized critically ill in such cases this a a calculus cholecystitis can occur patient will usually have jaundice pain and mass in the right upper quadrant which is not there in our patient a calculus cholecystitis you can see typical classical finding there is no stone visible in this let's look into acute pancreatitis commonly produces nausea vomiting epigastric pain that radiates to back that's a very important clue radiating to back again minimal abdominal tenderness point to note this happen in ami also even ami uh, even ami list level is also raised is also raised why can't be this pancreatitis because history of endocarditis and abrupt onset and his periambulical pain not radiating to back so this is acute pancreatitis is unlikely alcohol withdrawal frequently lead to restlessness diaphoresis and tachycardia in moderate to severe cases seizure hallucination or altered mentation can happen acute pain abdomen is not a feature of alcohol withdrawal but now i have a question for you write down the answer what type of hallucination occurs on alcohol withdrawal write down the answer in your copy well the answer is auditory hallucination it's a very very important question well what about intra abdominal abscess usually present with sub acutely not the way our patient presented acute onset of periambulical pain okay 
and of course in abscess fever focal abdominal tenderness and weight loss can be there but definitely it's a presentation is subacute and this is not the way of presentation for any abscess well a quick recap of the last minute revision point acute mesenteric ischemia presentation rapid onset of periumbilical pain often very severe pain out of proportion to examination finding this uh, this line you should not forget there may be hematochezia there may be fresh blood in the stool risk factor atherosclerosis acute or chronic embolic source thrombus or vegetation or hypercoagulable disorder lab finding leukocytosis amylase are raised even phosphate level may be raised there, there can be metabolic acidosis due to increased lactate we diagnose by ct or mr angiography mesenteric angiography if diagnosis is still unclear golden line to remember acute mesenteric ischemia present with acute onset mid abdominal pain out of proportion to physical finding it can lead to bowel infarction which can lead to focal pain peritoneal sign and rectal bleeding and sepsis well i hope you like the session just to inform you we have following courses for you smart medicine there are 350 hours of pre recorded video lecture of whole internal medicine it includes all super specialty and allied subject covering a to z including basic concept about every topic second we have tests and discussion there are more than 1000 question which with discussion of the questions sample question and discussion you saw in this session now third thing is medicine simplified which is a textbook of medicine harrison is the ultimate book to read medicine but it is too vast reading one page of harrison you need half an hour to understand you need 2 hours but you need only 2 minute to forget what was written in that page then what is the solution we have medicine simplified it's a textbook of medicine but so called mini harrison it's a summary of what you need to read from harrison the book is available in amazon also now these three things are more than enough for your md dnb medicine and family medicine final exam preparation need ss exam preparation you don't need to read any other book these three are complete in all the aspect for more detail you can contact at this number it's a mobile ad, as well as whatsapp and this is my personal email id anybody want to reach to me you can contact me at this email id thank you very much